Okay, so moving on in the build. Um, this is in glued. I just put the nacelle pylons into the secondary hull just to show you guys kind of what it would look like. But the nacelles are finished. The decals are all on. It had some time to dry. We get the wire leads coming from the bottom. And I think when it comes to the secondary hull, that's the last thing we're gonna do. So I think we can think about lighting the primary hull. Let's just put this aside for now. So when it comes to the primary hull, we're gonna, we're gonna light it. You can see there's a lot of windows that we need to open up. There are also windows on the bottom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the deflector dish, the, uh, the sensor array, excuse me. And we're gonna paint the impulse crystals and we'll put those in. But this, this episode is gonna be pr purely um, lighting up the hull, the primary hull. So I'm gonna figure out a way. What we're gonna do is let's open it up because the impulse engines need to be lit. Now, the way this model is, we're not going to be able to light the side impulse engines because it's just too small. But we're going to light the edge. We're going to put lights inside so we can light the, uh, the back of the impulse decks and the, um, the saucer pylon. Yeah, let me show you guys what's the... Uh, the other part that is going to go there. So this is the saucer pylon. And that needs to be lit as well. So this part is going to go on to the secondary hull. And this part is going to go on to the back, like that. First thing we got to do is we have to drill out all the windows. So that's the first thing. And the thing with the model kit, guys, is that I don't know if you'd be able to see, but the way the kit is made, the bottom, the top, kind of fits into the bottom like so but if we drill through this the sides I don't know if you guys can see how thick that is it's probably a quarter of an inch thick and one of the things that has me nervous is that we if we drill through yeah let's put it back in position if we drill through I don't want to end up drilling through the top so we're gonna have to be pretty careful because these actually, they, they, they're lit, so they need to be opened up. And the way this is going to rest, it's going to rest evenly flush. So we're going to have to drill these out. So what I'm going to do is we'll do them first, then we'll put the top back on, and we'll see if we can see through. Because, we, I mean, these have to be lit, right? It's just the way it goes. So I think we're going to start by drilling out the bottom because there's not as many windows. You can see the bottom around the planetary sensor and the phaser arrays is only, let's see, that's 4, 8, 12, 18 windows on the bottom. And then we got to do around the primary hull radius. And eventually, we'll paint all the add-on parts. And what I'm doing is I'm angling the pin vise slightly downward. There. You guys, hopefully you can see that. And worst case scenario, if the light doesn't penetrate, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to use um, fiber optics. Hopefully you guys can, 
can see the opening. So we still have the little lights that we rigged together from the Bassard collectors. Okay, so we'll use this as a test. And we'll put this in. And that's actually good news. Hopefully you guys can see the window. Right there. So what we're gonna do is, now we're gonna go ahead and drill out all the windows around the perimeter. And we've got a light to test it. You gotta be careful not to go through the bottom. did the, the top level and some I did on the bottom level. Here we are. I'll show you guys the, uh, the lights or the windows. And when it comes to the windows on the bottom part of the uh, primary hull, that's about it. This one. And then we're going to go slightly to the side to side. Looks pretty cool. <clears throat> there. And let's check out these. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. So we got the windows done on the sides. And there are no windows on the saucer pylon over there. And when it comes to the, the ones that are going around, you notice they got a lot smaller. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to use the pin vise.
There. Let's see how that comes around. And the ones down here are still kind of small as opposed to the side ones. So we're gonna, we gotta use the pin vise on these as well. Okay, when it comes to these, these are a little more rectangular, so let's see if we can use the drill. is so small I don't want to push my luck that's looking pretty good now let's come around we can do the other half um, again the rest is going to be the pin vise Check that out. Yeah. We got them all drilled out. Let's go ahead and we'll clean it up. All right, so we got all the windows drilled. So what I want to do now is let's put the lights, a couple of the lights in, and we're going to take a look and see how it looks. It's looking pretty cool. Let me shut the lights off. Look at that. Are the lights on the side, coming around on the top and the lights on the bottom. But looking pretty good. You can see where the sensor dome is gonna go and the two um, impulse crystals. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're gonna set up the lighting kit. So the lights will be facing in that way there we are. And you can see the, the brightness. So what I was thinking, we get a couple of the uh, five millimeters and we put them going towards the back. And I'm wondering if we should use the uh, two of the um, three millimeters each side. It might do a better job lighting. See how much brighter it is? And you can see it would light the, uh, the impulse crystals and the, uh, the impulse engines lighter and it would be brighter. So I think that's what we're gonna do. And like we did on this side, we'll use, we'll sacrifice the five millimeter. And what we'll do is we'll solder this in place All right, that looks pretty good. I'll put some flux on this.
And if we did it right, when we put this on, you'll see how nice and bright they are. So we'll give this a minute to cool and then we're gonna put the liquid tape on. And then we'll have the lights. And what we're actually gonna use these for is these are gonna be the lights on the side where the impulse decks are on either side. In addition, it's gonna light the impulse crystals on the bottom as well as lighting the impulse engines on the back. Of course, the beauty of this is that you don't want the wires touching, especially once they're inside the model. What this is gonna do, it's gonna goop up, it's gonna dry, and it's gonna keep the wires from coming in contact with each other. Okay, so, when it's gonna come to the center, we've got the sensor dome that we're gonna have to light. And you can see the areas on the other sides where the light is gonna come out. And we're gonna have the light that's gonna light the, uh, the bottom registry numbers. But we're gonna use the tiny SMDs for that. We'll probably put that right where the, um, the phaser array is to light it. And we're gonna do the same thing on the top. We're gonna put one that's gonna come out here. Or maybe we can do the same thing near the phaser arrays. Yeah, I'm thinking up over here would look better. So we'll put one in there, aim it down, and I think we're going to do one for port and starboard sides as well, just like she appears on screen. It's like there's light coming in three different directions. It's a little bit easier to tell them apart. So we're going to put one... We're going to need one two, three. I think that's it for the top. Four. I think we're only going to put one for the bottom. So it's looking like we're going to need four of them. Alright, so why don't we get these ready to solder them in place. Yeah. And because there's not a whole lot of the wires exposed on the bottom, you wanna make sure you get all of them. I like to use a needle nose pliers just to twist it a couple of times. Yeah. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Yeah, wunderbar, look at that. So these will be all set. And we're gonna we're gonna solder those into place. But I think what I want to do is we're gonna solder them in place with the uh, the five millimeter LEDs. These are gonna be really close together. Okay, let's do the other leads. We have one north, one south, one east, and one west. We gotta keep it where they're not touching. All right, so this is the positive. And let's distinguish. Again, don't take anything for granted. I think the copper is the positive, but I just want to be sure. There, you can see, we got everything. We got all the four lights for the registry markings, and we have all four lights that are gonna be for the, uh, the impulse dome, the bridge, and around. I think what I wanna do 
is let's go ahead and I'm going to position these lights. That way there we can go ahead and put the uh, liquid tape on to make sure that they don't touch and end up shorting out. You can see we got north, south, east, and west. I think that looks pretty good. Here we are. Okay, so the liquid tape had some time to dry. So we've got, let me show you the sections now. Everything is all set. We've got <clears throat> two lights that are going to go in the port and two lights that are going to go in the starboard, the back where the uh, impulse engines are. And then we've got the registry numbers uh, lights. And then we've got the north, south, east, and west lights. So what we got to do now is we got to get all of this and put this into the ship. <clears throat> Now, one of the things that's disappointing about this model kit, it's good that we're able to light it, but if you guys can see the beacons, this is, it's, it's a quarter of an inch thick, and I just don't see how I thought about going through, all the way through, and then trying to go into the side, but I just don't want to ruin it. <clears throat> so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to just have to paint the beacons and they're not going to be lit. But when it comes to the windows, so we're going to have one of these lights. Actually, let's think about, let me show you how I envision this to kind of go like that. So this looks like a good piece. This comes in so here. let's go ahead and we're gonna cut a couple of these so we're gonna have to put them I'd like ideally to put one on either side and we got to make sure it does not go into the light See how we angled them? We've got one going up towards the bridge. We've got one going down towards the sensor dome. And we've got two that are going to go on the sides and help light the inside of the hull. And we can take one of these and we're going to go through and we're going to light the registry numbers. And then we're going to put these up on top. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's going to line up pretty nice. So look at that. That's that's just about perfect. So, hopefully you, you guys can see, we've got the lights, we got four lights, and they're facing the back, and what I want to do is I want to make sure that it's solid, and I want to show you guys, see how we got two facing forward? So that's going to help with the lights, and the windows, and the back. 
with the uh, impulse engines. And what it's going to do in front is we're going to light the rest. So what we got to do now is we have to actually drill the holes for the registry marker. They're going to go through like that. But what we got to do now is we're going to have to figure out how we're going to get rid of some of these and Then wires. eventually we're going to put it to one wire and that's going to go through the, uh, the, the uh, saucer pylon. Side now what piece of wire is going to be long enough to feed through it's going to come up through the, uh, the saucer pylon so let's put this on this one all right what we can do now is we can bring these together and then we can solder them See if that still works. Nice. So we're gonna put some liquid tape on here. Are we there? We don't have to worry about it touching together on the inside when the model's closed. So, I think we're going to hold off on hot gluing this until we actually have everything all set and we're going to glue the hull before we start putting the Aztec decals on it. So, look at the, look at the lights, and again, this is going to come down. Go like that. And we have the, the bottom. And hopefully you can see the lights on the side. Nice. So my friends, this is the conclusion of this video, we're lighting the primary hull. You guys can see how cool she's going to look. And then we have the, the impulse engines. We get the lights on the bottom. And we've got the registry marking lights. We're going to have the impulse crystals lit up. And this is going to be pretty cool. So my friends, until the next video in this build, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.